Hi everyone. So today I have a Hobby Lobby haul. Um, it's not a lot of stuff, you know, but um, I did find some really good deals. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the biggest one. This right here is one of those organizer totes um, that they sell. It's not like my first choice in terms of colors, but um, the last time I went to Hobby Lobby, they had just put these on clearance and I looked at them and I was kind of meh, I don't really feel like I need them. But then when I went, you know, on Friday, I saw them again and I thought, okay, you know what, maybe I do need one. So what they had left was this print, this plaid print, and um, I went ahead and got it. So this is regularly $29.99. And I got it for $5.49. So if you're on the hunt for something like this, one of these, you know, you keep it on your uh, table or in your Razcog cart uh, kind of organizers. If you're on the hunt for one, get yourself over to Hobby Lobby and pick one up. Because you can't beat $5.49, you know? It's got a lot of pockets, you know, on the side here. On this side, it's got you know, a zipper. Um, I already have one of these that I purchased a long time ago that sits on um, a cart that I have by my desk where I keep my computer, my laptop. So I figured, well, I could always use another one because I do have another Razcog cart that I have not put together because I have been planning on spray painting it um, like a mint green color, but I haven't gotten around to that and now it's too humid outside to work on it. Too hot and humid. Um, one, the paint won't dry probably if I were to leave it outside. So um, I might just go ahead and just put it all together and I guess wait till the fall to spray paint it. So I did get this. Um, and you know, I'm still kind of on the fence if I am gonna keep this. I might give it to one of my nieces so that they can organize their craft, you know, all their crafts. Um, so the next thing that I got was, um, even though pick, I got this, okay. They had these last time, but I didn't pick this up. But this time I figured, okay, why not? Who knows, I might go to, go to New York uh, this year. I don't know. I mean, it's not something that I'm like actually planning on, but it's always good to have this kit, because you never know. It's only $1.49. I picked up a couple of these type of kits the last time. But um, I like the colors, you know, and I like the way it looks. So that's why I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, I did pay full price for this because obviously they don't have the stupid coupon anymore. It's, uh, is this Paper Studio? I mean, it's Paper Crafts. It is kind of Paper Studio. They just took the name off so you couldn't use, you couldn't get it on sale. It's an ink blending mat that I found over there by the, um, Tim Holtz stuff. Now, I'm actually not going to use this as an ink blending mat. I'm actually going to use this as a pencil board um, for work because I do a lot of handwriting when I'm doing intakes and um, I tend to press a little hard on when I'm writing. So I don't want, you know, the impressions on the next page. So I do use a mat underneath and it's a mat that I have bought from the chopping mats those flimsy chopping mats from um, Dollar Tree. I just cut one down to letter size. But I've noticed that, I mean, I've been using this now for more than eight months, and yeah, it's probably starting to get worn a little bit. So I figure I would get something that's a little bit, I don't know, this might not be, this might be too soft, because it's not as thick as the other one, but We'll see, I will have to cut this down um, to letter size. So, after that, like I said, it's a very small haul. Um, I did get, because it, Tim Holtz is on sale this week and that glare is really bad. So you know what? Let me move this stuff because, all right, so I did pick up more Distressed Ink and I'm gonna be really pissed at myself if I ended up buying one of the colors that I already bought the last time I did this haul. So I gotta go find them. But um, I figured I probably did not pick up one of these. 
<laughs> I'm really hoping I didn't. So let me go ahead and zoom in on what I got here. Um, sorry if the glare is really bad. I picked up pumice stone, hickory smoke, black suit, and stormy sky. I figure, I think what I'm going to do to build my collection of the oxides is just every time that they have a sale, I'll pick up three or four until I've picked up all the colors. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty much all that I purchased from um, Hobby Lobby. I mean, they're just, you know, when you get to the point where you've just bought pretty much everything that you, you know, you really do need, then it's just a matter of like, okay, what don't I have, you know? And when I wasn't working and I put myself on that, spend $20 only a month on crafts, you kind of learn to like, you know, you, you're, you're excited, you get in the store, you throw everything into the cart, and then when it gets down to, okay, I'm ready to go and pay, then you start taking everything out that, you know, do I really need this? You know, you start editing <laughs> your purchases. So yeah, so that's how I would like stay under that $20 limit. And now, even though I am working, I can afford to buy, you know, a lot of stuff. I, I find that I don't when I'm getting crafts now because I know that I've accumulated so much. So yeah, so this right here, what I purchased, well, because of the inks, it was a little bit more. But I mean, I spent twenty nine thirty four, which isn't too bad. I mean, if I hadn't bought the inks, then yeah, I would have definitely stayed under probably twelve bucks. But it's okay. I mean, these are tools. <laughs> I consider that tools. These, I mean, I technically didn't really need them or this, but hey, it is what it is. So, anyways, um, I think. Hobby Lobby has still got a lot of clearance going on. Um, I didn't get any more stickers because I just didn't think I needed any more, I mean, any of the ones that they had left. So yeah, if you're on the hunt for stickers or like organizers like this, or even like you like the Paper Studio, you know, um, collection packs and stuff, they still had plenty, well, my store still had plenty. So if you haven't been, get yourself over there, okay? All right, so on to the next haul. Bye.